Hi guys. Welcome to Harry Fam Dev channel. In this video, I will guide you to run the project doctor's appointment booking system. This is the source code summary from part 1 to part 9 of this tutorial. I will share the project download link on Google Drive. And update below the description of this video. First, let's download the project. Then open this project with your IDE. For me, I'm using WebStorm. You can use Visual Studio Code, a free IDE for JavaScript developer. The first thing we need to do is to install the required libraries for this project. Open the terminal, then run the command, npm start. Next, we need to create the env file to set up the environment variables. Copy the env example file, paste at the root folder. Then rename to .env. We will store the system connection information in the .env file. And not public this file. Update these parameters. I set the port to 8080. Update your database's name here. If you don't use password to log into your database, keep this field empty as I do. The database host is the local host environment. In this tutorial, we will use XAMPP to connect to MySQL, so let's run XAMPP to connect to the database, MySQL. In the MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, let's create your database. Select New, then give your database a name. Finally click the Create button to create a new database. We also have to update the database connection information for the SQLize package. Open the SRC directory, followed by the config directory. We will update the configuration information for the SQLize. Update the name of the database here. If you don't use a password to log into MySQL, set the password field to null. To run this project, at the terminal, we use the command, npm start. By default, our project will run at port 8080. Open your browser, then going to the address, localhost port 8080. This is the interface of the project. To be able to log in, we first need to create a new account. To do this, we need to create the tables in the database with the SQLize migration. The SQLize migration will allow us to create relational tables in the database. Find the section, Running Migrations. We haven't inserted anything into the database. Now to actually create the tables in database. You need to run DB Migrate command. So copy this command to use later. Reopen the folder containing the project, then move into the SRC directory. We'll use git bash. Paste the migration command right here. We cannot run the sqlize cli command because by default, window does not know this command. To fix this, we'll set the global for the sqlize cli. Run the command. npm install gsqlize cli. The g flag will set up this package global. Wait a moment to process completed. Then, run our migration command again. This time, we have successfully created the internal tables database. To check the results, reopen the database. Refresh the database, now we have the necessary tables for this project. To log into the system, first create a new account. Let's access the register route, we need to enter information such as name, email address, and password. Finally, click Submit button to create a new account. When we create an account successfully, we will redirect to the homepage. At this interface, click on this icon. Then choose Login. We have also authenticated the user, so if we enter the wrong password or email, we do will also report the error to the user. If login is successful, we will redirect to the management page. In part 9, I just completed the interface for user management. In the next videos, I will complete these other features. However, I will not upload the source code to GitHub. If you have any errors during the implementation of this project, please comment below the video, I will try to help.
see you in the next videos.